breaking news. A new medium format 100 megapixel mirrorless camera has leaked and we have photos and literally all the details. So I'm gonna tell you about it in one second. This is not a sponsored video, but I do wanna give you a coupon to our own store, Northrop.photo. We're having a 50% off all of our video training special. So the coupon code college, because my kid is going to college now and it's super expensive. You can get 50% off the flash training, the art and science of photography video training series, or our professional portrait video training series. The flash training series gets you started really quickly using inexpensive flashes. This is a key skill every photographer needs for things like portrait, architecture, automotive photography. We will show you how to get amazing results with a $20 flash and it is incredibly inexpensive with this coupon. We just want to get you started with it. The art and science of photography training is general photography training that goes deeper than we can on YouTube. You know why? Because on YouTube, everything has to have like a clickbait title and thumbnail, but so many of the most important photography lessons are not something that can be clickbaited, like learning how to understand time and changing conditions, learning how to see an image. That is what you'll learn in the art and science of photography video training series. And if you watch it and you don't like it, I will just give you your money back. We have a 100% money back guarantee on everything. So there's absolutely no risk to you. And if you want to start really making money with your photography, our professional portrait training series will do just that. We help you actually become a professional photographer, covering the business side of things, all your contracts, your negotiations, selling and upselling your clients. So you could take a portrait client that might otherwise pay a $50 session fee. And we have photographers making over $10,000 from a single session by selling them on big, beautiful prints that the family absolutely loves and returns every year to get more. So we share all of those secrets in our video training series at Northrop.photo. Use the coupon code COLLEGE to get 50% off and help pay for some of my kids' meals. Thank you. Now let's look through the photos that photo rumors leaked. In this first image, we can see the body is identical to the X1D. That's not a bad thing. The X1D felt fantastic in my hands. Even with that huge medium format sensor, it felt small and light like a full frame or even a lot of APS-C cameras. We see that signature gold shutter button and overall it has a extremely premium feel. This is a luxury camera. You're not just paying for the megapixels here, you're paying for the overall experience and Hasselblad provides this throughout. One disappointing thing is it still, it has a tilt screen, but I really would prefer at least a tilt screen that tilted out to the side because I'm frequently working on a tripod vertically nowadays, especially for vertical formats like Instagram. But still, this has a 3.6 inch high megapixel, I think 2.36 million dot display. So it's going to be sharper and bigger and actually brighter in my experience than other cameras that you're accustomed to, even high-end cameras like the A1. And that overall really contributes to a superior experience with the X2D. Looking down on it from another leaked photo, you can see it has that TFT LCD display that makes it a superior camera to the Sony cameras that I use that don't have that top screen because I really like to be able to dial in my settings without having to pull out the rear screen. That lets me get things ready before I actually lift the camera and take a shot. And it's nice that you can just leave that display on and quickly have access to the number of shots remaining and the battery life in the camera. This camera will have sensor stabilization, five access up to a seven stop improvement. And that is absolutely critical. Not having IBIS would be a deal breaker because with the 100 megapixels, any amount of camera shake would be immediately apparent. There is no reciprocal rule when you're using a 100 megapixel camera. You'd have to be shooting like five, six stops over the reciprocal rule to get reliably sharp shots. So that IBIS will actually improve the overall detail maybe more than just the megapixels alone will. This sensor has 15 stops of dynamic range, which is superior to full frame cameras. Now it's probably more than most of us will ever need and you're probably gonna end up bracketing landscape shots anyway, but still it's really nice to be able to recover that and more dynamic range is always better. It has 16 bit color depth, which means you could pull colors in your editing more. Again, this is a nice to have, but I never run into color depth limitations even when I do run into uh, dynamic range limitations. Maybe the most groundbreaking thing about the X2D is that it has one terabyte of internal storage. Thank you, Hasselblad. We have been begging for this for more than a decade. You can build in 
internal storage and it will be faster and more reliable than removable memory cards. And it means you can never forget your memory card at home. Now they do include a second slot and a CF Express type B card slot. So you could put that in there and continue to use your existing workflow and maybe you just use that one terabyte card for a backup. But it's nice to know you'll never be left without massive amounts of memory and hopefully every other manufacturer finally follows them. It's, it's interesting, the only cameras I have right now that do have internal storage are my DJI drones and DJI owns Hasselblad. So maybe we're starting to see some benefits from that collaboration where DJI is moving some of their high tech stuff into Hasselblad. The leaked Hasselblad documents are saying that live view performance is improved. It was a little laggy on the X1D. The shutter is said to also be 65% faster, so I'm glad to see they're improving that. And the blackout time is decreased by 70%. The most important thing, this implements phase detect autofocus. That should be about three times faster than the X1D, which had a more primitive focusing system. Now, autofocus is key to sharpness. Okay, you cannot accurately manually focus something, especially portraits with humans that are moving, you'll just always miss by a little bit. You always get the sharpest photos when you have an accurate autofocus system. So that 100 megapixels would be wasted if the camera were, say, focusing on the eyelashes instead of the iris of the eye. That's how critical and precise the focusing needs to be. So I can't wait to actually test this out and see how it works in the real world. Be sure to subscribe. We expect to have that review out very soon, actually. Hasselblad's announcing this camera on September 7th. That much is actually public. Photo Rumors is saying that they expect the price to be 8,000 pounds or 8,000 euros. The dollar and the euro are pretty closely tied right now, so it's nice that there's just a single price for that. Now, that's a lot. That is more than a $6,500 Sony Alpha 1 or a $5,500 Nikon Z9, and this camera is not going to match them for sports or wildlife. That's not what this camera is. This camera is a landscape camera. It is a travel camera. It is a portrait camera, but it's also more than a tool. It is a Hasselblad. It brings with it the history and legacy of Hasselblad. And as a photographer who's been at it for 25 years now, that's something I really appreciate. We've done an entire video on the history of Hasselblad and it's pretty fascinating. And this is a genuine Hasselblad, a real Hasselblad. And I've always wanted a Hasselblad of my own and the X1D didn't quite make me fall in love with it enough. But it sounds like the X2D solves all those problems. So I'm actually thinking this one might replace my little Leica as the camera that I keep around my neck on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, we'll find out soon when we test it. Subscribe to see that full review. And in the comments down below, tell us specifically what you'd like to test. Now, lenses are a big deal in this segment because originally when the X1D launched, they didn't have many lenses. Hasselblad now has 10 X-mount lenses and you can adapt other lenses too. Nine of those lenses are primes. One of them is a zoom. Additionally, Hasselblad is expected to launch three new lenses on September 7th. We don't know what two of them are, but one of them is going to be a 38 millimeter f2.5, which translates to a 30 millimeter f2 in full frame equivalent terms. So that'll be a good general walking around lens. Here's something that makes a bigger difference to your photography than buying gear. And that is actually learning photography. But YouTube is not a great place to learn photography because you'll just get dragged from one clickbait thumbnail and title to the next. There's no structured curriculum, right? If you go to school, there's a teacher there who knows what you need to know and they teach it to you in a proper order and they make sure you learn the things that aren't exciting but are still important to getting good results, right? That's what our video training does. It brings you structure and a curriculum. And our least expensive, the flash training series is extremely inexpensive with the 50% off college coupon. Definitely try that out. The art and science of photography is for every photographer. It teaches you to learn how to see, how to envision, how to improve your results. And it is intensive at more than 10 hours, but I promise you it'll pay off. Like I stand behind it. If you don't think it is worth the money, then I will give all your money back to you. And finally, something that will actually make you money is our professional portrait photographers training series. This will teach you the business of being a portrait photographer. And that is contracts and stuff are not exciting stuff. That's not going to be a clickbait video on YouTube, but it's stuff you absolutely need to know or it could cost you 
so much money if you get it wrong. So try out our professional portrait training series. And again, if you don't like it, just let me know and I'll give you your money back. It's all available at northrop.photo. Thanks so much and don't forget to subscribe to see our full review. Bye.